I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee a five minute delivery on all purchases and offer 24 7 customer support. Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. All right, here we are. Here we go. Hello. Welcome back. Sorry for not uploading, guys. It has been my fault. I've been super busy with school and everything, so I haven't had the chance to really dedicate myself to videos like I should be. I've been trying to stream, though, to make up for it, so if you guys haven't checked out the streams, it hopefully can can complement the videos so you guys are getting enough content. But um, coming up in the next few months, I'm really planning on uploading more. I know you hear me say it all the time, but this time, <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I sound like a boyfriend who's cheated on his girlfriend a million times. I promise it'll be different this time. I won't do it again. I'm not going to make any promises. I'm going to try my best to upload more, uh, but we'll see what actually happens. Right now, I'm pretty much looking at like one to two videos a week, but I'm hopefully going to get that up to three to four videos a week uh, in November and December. Again, though, I'm not going to make those empty promises. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying my best. But today is a great day because I'm showing you guys. I'm starting off a series that is going to be pretty much giving you guys an ebook for free. So what I'm doing is I've been running and tailoring the same offense uh, pretty much all of Madden 20. It's the Miami Dolphins offense. And I know that this offense is probably the most high power, the most effective offense, in my opinion, in the game right now. This is the meta, I'd say. This is like... This is what a lot of ebook sites are selling. And like, I've never bought an ebook. Uh, I haven't bought any tips from anybody. These are just plays that I've gotten from watching other people play, from watching Twitch channels, from my own subscribers giving me tips. And then of course, from me running online and just using it myself. So consider this the first series in my Miami Dolphins ebook. And this is probably the best play in the in the book. Uh, it's actually not the best play in my opinion, but this is the one that's kind of going to be the bread and butter. The best play in my opinion is going to be this one play touchdown that I can show you. But before we get into any of that, I'm going to be going over the best and worst comments of the day. This seems to be your guys' favorite parts of the video. The worst comment of the day goes to Monster Season. He said, you sound like a little boy, Monster. Do I look like a little freaking boy? I'm six foot three. 200 pounds of pure muscle, you come up here and pull up in my house, buddy, I'll be waiting for you to slam your ass right in the crowd. <laughs> wow. The best comment of the day goes to Legion of Boom. He said, hmm, this guy plays much better when sober. This is facts. If you guys have stopped by my streams, you know most of my streams are like drunk streams. I got wine, white claws. I got, you know, I mix it up. I got everything. So usually by the end of the stream, I'm not doing too hot and my gameplay suffers. But when I'm sober, I'll take anybody's cheeks. Legion of Boom knows this. But enough of the comments and all that, guys. Let's get into the actual video. Like I said, this is going to be the first installment of my Miami Dolphins offensive ebook. The formation we are running out of is Gun Split Close Miami. If you guys watch my streams or my gameplay, you know this is what I run for just about all of my offensive plays. Every now and then I'll switch into I form or strong, but for the most part, I'm in Gun Split Close. And the reason for this is because there's a lot of different things you can do out of Gun Split Close. It's a very versatile formation, and it's a formation that you can pretty much stay in the entire game. So if you see gun split close, there is a tight end in the slot right there, number 87. That is Travis Kelsey. And then you got two wide receivers on the outside and then two running backs in the backfield with you uh, in shotgun. However, the way I run it is I like to have three wide receivers running routes instead of two wide receivers and a tight end. So you might just think it's as simple as subbing out the tight end. But if you go to your tight end in the substitutions, you see you cannot sub out Travis Kelsey for any wide receivers. You can only sub in for fullback, other tight ends, left tackle, right tackle, middle linebacker. There's no wide receivers right there. So it's a little bit of a glitch, but in order to get that to be a wide receiver in that position, you gotta change your packages. So you use your right stick, you go over on packages all the way to strong slot. So what strong slot does is it moves the tight end from the slot on the right to the receiver on the left. So now you see Travis Kelsey, number 87, is lined up on the left. And then when you go into your substitutions, for some reason it glitches and it puts Travis Kelsey back on the right. However, we just saw the play art, so we know that Travis Kelsey is actually... If I can get over to him, right here where 14 is, Sammy Watkins, this is actually Travis Kelsey, and then 87 is actually Sammy Watkins. I know that doesn't really make sense. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to sub in Denard, or Sammy, I think it's Denard Robinson, Denard Robinson for Sammy Watkins, or Demarcus Robinson. So now we got Demarcus Robinson, 
Travis Kelsey, but that's actually Sammy Watkins, and then Tyree Kill, and then the two running backs. If you go back, it still says Travis Kelsey in the play art, play art but when I get on the field, you're gonna see there's actually three wide receivers in there. So it's a little confusing, uh, but you just, gotta, you just gotta know how that works. It's a little glitch, I don't really know how it works. But the play we're running is PAY shot. This is gonna be the bread and butter of your offense. This is a play that you're gonna run probably very often, especially if your opponent is blitzing. So I'm gonna call PAY shot and then get into the play. And on defense, we're gonna go to a random play. Now, if you see what I was talking about, we got the three wide receivers on the field now. You see, we got Robinson, Watkins, and Hill. Uh, it's exactly what I talked about, even though for some reason the play art was showing Travis Kelsey's still in there. Um, you just gotta understand how that works. So if you don't understand really what I'm saying, mess around with it a little bit till you can uh, till you can figure it out. So getting into the actual play, this is the play art, and this is why I like the play so much, is because the, you have three routes on the field, and that's all you really need. You can block this running back uh, that's in the play action. You can keep your running backs blocked. So you have seven blockers. So this play is really good if you have someone who's blitzing you like crazy, because you got seven blockers. Most of the time, you're going to pick up that blitz, and then one of those routes is going to develop down the field and uh, get open. So the adjustments you're going to want to make on this play to make it effective is on the two receiver side on the right. Now you're always going to want to keep that two receiver side to the field side. So if we were respotting the ball on one of the hashes, if we move to the hash, you're going to want to keep that two receiver side to the right, like I said. So yeah, two receiver side to the right. And then the adjustments you're making, again, block the play action because I don't like play action this year. So block that running back again. Streak Sammy Watkins and then put Tyree Kill on a slant. And that's what you do. And then you're going to motion, motion hike Tyree Kill. And he's your first read. So Tyreek Hill is going to get wide open down the field. That's your first read. And you see that is a huge gain. The reason why is a slant motion uh, motion hiked against man coverage. So I can tell that was man coverage. Is absolutely going to toast it. So if we look at the instant replay really quick here. Um, you're going to see how this man coverage plays against this motion, motion hike. So we motioned him out. Hiked it while he was still in motion. This man coverage for some reason just does not play it at all. So that slant is going to get open against all man coverage. But that's not really what I'm looking at here. Um, if I could look at my play art, there we go. So streak Sammy Watkins, put Tyree Kill on a slant, block that running back again. So that's the play art. Motion hike Tyree Kill. This is zone. And that's going to be your first read every time because you can hit that almost every time. It's eight to 10 yards. Um, and the whole point of this is you're going to want to hit that slant until a user goes on it. Once a user goes down on that slant and stops you from throwing it, then you're going to throw the crosser to Robinson, which is going to be about a 30 yard gain. So once again, if there's no user covering that, that is going to be your first read. If it is there, take it. Uh, streak Sammy Watkins, put Tyree Kill on a motion slant. We'll see if no one's there. No one is there. Just low pass it right in there. And if you don't low pass it, if you catch it and try to rat catch it, a lot of times he's going to run right into those uh, linebackers and get hit sticked and dropped it. Now let's pretend that a user is going to cover that now. All right, so now we got the streak slant. Now let's pretend a user is going to cover it. And this is the play you want to set because usually the user is going to cover the crosser and then the slant's going to be open. But once he comes down on the slant, once you keep throwing it, wait for the crosser, wide open. And there's no zone on the field that can cover that. It's going to be in front of any deep zone. It's going to be behind any cloud flat, any other type of soft squat, any other type of curl flat, anything like that. So that crosser is only going to be able to be covered by a user or if they man it up. And then the slant is only going to be covered essentially by a user. So that is why this play is so good. You only need three routes. Motion high came. First read is going to be the slant. If it's open, throw it. Take your 10 yards. Take the first down. And then once the user comes down, once you throw that two or three times, then you wait for the crosser. Now, if they're only sending three or four, you can for sure put McCoy on like a wheel route or something. That's going to draw the flat on the left side over to that wheel route and maybe even push the linebacker out more. And then also give you... Uh, some extra space in the middle to throw the slant and then if they all flood to the slant in the middle You can hit that wheel route usually um, but again if someone's blitzing a lot It's Madden 20 people love to blitz. Uh, I usually keep those running backs blocked, but if not, it's just another read you can make So once again, if you wait on this crossing route That is the route that you're gonna want to throw and you look at that you catch that and you run it and you got good stick That could honestly be a touchdown if you got a good enough stick but um, this is the bread and butter of the offense, guys. I, I'm hoping I'm not oversimplifying it and making going too fast. It's pretty simple. It's just a streak and a slant. The motion slant is what makes it. You got to remember to motion him out every time. And a lot of times if you wait, that slant can even get open on the sideline like that. And that's a gain of about 20. So this is a big play uh, bread and butter offense. It's uh, I know that sounds weird. 
it is a very vertical, high-powered offense that I'm running. So a lot of deep shots, a lot of big plays. And uh, if you get the ball to your playmakers, you can use stick and get a touchdown. Um, so this isn't a one-play touchdown, but there's not really any zones that can cover it effectively. So it's going to take a lot of adjustments by your opponent. And they're not able to send heat at you because you're blocking everyone. Look, at th they just sent heat right there. But I had seven blockers, so I blocked it. Matt Moore dots it up on the sideline. That's a gain of 30. If you guys want to see more from my Miami Dolphins offense, uh, again, it's going to be like a free ebook. Uh, I can make more videos. I can make a whole scheme video out of it. Leave a like down below. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Now I'm on the outside.